Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today I wanted to do a tie-dye experiment. This, what I'm showing here, is one I did about a year ago and I thought it turned out really good. I wasn't a fan of the colours with it being kind of red, blue and white and I thought the purple would add to it but it didn't really come out. So I wanted to try a similar pattern but with using bleach instead because I thought it would have a very like cool effect. So to start a tie dye I soaked a black t-shirt in water, it's just normal water. The angle isn't great because I'm like filming with one hand and doing like rinsing the shirt with another but yeah this is just making a t-shirt wet like it's nothing special but I'm just showing you the process of tie dye if you wanted to do something similar yourself. So I'm wringing out the t-shirt to get rid of as much excess water as I can so it's just a slightly damp t-shirt so then I can fold it and the way I folded it to make this pattern is almost like pleating it and then bunching it along the pleats so you actually get almost very vaguely like a tartan pattern so one way I use to pleat it is just like roughly dragging it along and it makes a slightly pleated pattern as you can see there I show you a few different times in a few different angles so hopefully you get the best view of it that you can. So I just lay out the t-shirt flat and then try and get even pleats when dragging it along. I find the t-shirt kind of naturally bunches up and then you just kind of go at the pace to make it more even. I hope that makes sense. And there it is again. So obviously it's not exactly the same every time, I'm not like measuring anything out, but you can see as you drag it, it just bunches up. If your t-shirt doesn't do this then you definitely could like measure out and fold it and do it very exactly if that's more what you're looking for. But I felt that this had quite a nice effect in the final outcome of the t-shirt with it not being too precise. Like I tried a slightly what I was feeling like maybe a more precise version of doing it with, with my fingers and like almost spacing out the pleats but still just kind of rolling it still works I find it while well, it works for me and as you can see I did this quite a few times so if you don't like it the first time then of course you can redo it and then once I had this t-shirt rolled up in very rough pleats I neatened out like the sleeves because the sleeves didn't roll with the body of the t-shirt but eventually it ended up looking like this so as even as I could possibly get the pleats as I'm calling them and then it's time for the kind of main process of what your pattern will turn out to be is the bunching and the tying up of a tie dye after all so I went for a kind of what I think is a basic pattern of just tying it at even spaces all along the sausage shape and I add more on as I go. I did actually find this quite hard where the wet t-shirt and the rubber bands do create quite a bit of friction. I do try and tie the rubber bands quite tightly as I feel this creates the best effect. So just like I would tie a ponytail, I would put the rubber band around the cloth and then loop it around several times so that it's tightly around the cloth. I do think the neatness of the folding and of the tying greatly affects the outcome of this because essentially the pattern doesn't change it's just like almost like coloured in with the in this case bleach or normally fabric dye but I do try and really evenly space out the rubber bands and evenly pleat for what I feel is the neatest and eventually after repeating this process I used nine rubber bands and tried to tie tie them as tightly as possible around the folded material and I'm just showing you here. 
If you are going to follow a pattern similar to this, then I recommend getting quite a few rubber bands. I'm quite small, this t-shirt is small, and I use nine rubber bands and a few snaps, I think, during filming this. So try and be as prepared as possible for this. Here I have got my painting glass, so like the pot I used to put water in for paint. It's, that's why it's stained, it's acrylic paint so it's not going to come off. And then I felt like I would try and be smart and create a diluted bleach like solution to tie dye my cloth in. So I've put in a decent amount of water and just a tiny bit of bleach in the hope that it would just create like a subtle pattern as opposed to a very harsh pattern. And of course, once you bleach the t-shirt, you can't then unbleach it. So this was desirable because then I could always go back in and re-bleach it if I really wanted to. Also, I was doing this in my sink. I don't recommend this. I recommend you use some kind of bucket you have instead. So also the just slightly bleached mixture was suited to the sink. I also used the water to top up my solution to completely submerge the cloth and I actually found over time that the colour of the t-shirt bleached out as I'm showing you here. This was at roughly five minute intervals although I must say the sink plug hole wasn't very good so that's why the water level goes down again do it in a bucket please so actually after taking out the cloth i'm showing you here it was only very slightly bleached it was just faintly brown instead of black but i think this was also just masked by the wetness so i took off all the rubber bands and then i could have a better look at the pattern I decided that I didn't want to kind of go in with a harsher bleach and I just wanted to see the pattern as it is already. And then you can see faintly here that there is a slight pattern that was caused by the bleach. It's very faint here on camera and in real life as I said the material was wet but nonetheless there is a pattern and I'll show you just in a second. The pattern that comes out from this is a bit like flatter, it's not got a very central focal point like the traditional kind of swirly tie dye is. I feel that's a traditional one, I seem to see it a lot because I kind of had the idea of painting on the t shirt with kind of straight bleach. So, here is what the t shirt looks like. It is just very subtle here, I think the light was going a little bit at this point which is why the camera looks a little bit grainy but nonetheless there is a very clear pattern it's solidly all the way through the t-shirt and I'm showing you up a little bit closer here I turned on the light to show you because like I said the light was going and you can definitely see where the bleach has taken out some of the colour of the t-shirt and it left kind of a warm toned brown which I personally like, it's almost like my hair colour, so I really liked this. And then here is the next day when it was dry, with it actually on me. I personally like the colour and the pattern of this, I think it looks quite good, <laughs> but that's probably just me being biased of making it. It did have this like streak down the side, which it didn't have on the other side, which I didn't really like. And the back was like slightly wonky, like it wasn't straight down like on the front. But nonetheless, I really was quite pleased with it in the daylight and with it dry. But like I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, I do see this as kind of more of a background to something central on the t-shirt. I've always had this vision of dragons i was thinking if i ever got a tattoo it'd be like a dragon order on my back there's no way i could do that i'm squeamish about needles but nonetheless i i'm interested in a dragon pattern so i went onto pinterest and found quite a lot of dragon kind of designs i was going for a more graphic style as opposed to kind of a tonal drawing and I just spent a while sketching them out here as you can see none of the designs are my own I did draw them from all other people they're just very 
quick sketches it was 12 minutes of video so obviously this has been sped up but so it's a very very quick sketches of each dragon these are literally just initial ideas but please let me know if you want to see a video where i bleach these patterns onto the t-shirt i also had an idea of like cat eyes like giant cat eyes on the back or something i don't know just kind of dramatic to make a focal point of this t-shirt but yeah let me know your thoughts please <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this video and take care everyone